I wasn't very happy with some of the other designs that uh, I had seen from the automation companies, so I just decided to draw it up, sign it all myself. Oh, I'm so excited to talk about this one, Matt. RoboDrill is such a fantastic machine. It seems like we talk about it regularly. I see them everywhere I go. Now, everyone has a different reason for purchasing them. And as I look around, I see that you have some pretty big, solid, but somewhat dated machines that can probably really do some roughing. But you mentioned to me that most of your parts are kind of small parts and they can be done here. What has the RoboDrill done to enhance your capabilities by moving it from one older machine into this new Fanuc RoboDrill? Uh, primarily, it was the accuracy of the rotary. I really wanted to get uh, more speed in that in that in the rotary unit, and then also have um, one that was more geared towards production. Uh, the ones I have are are pretty slow, and the accuracy was lacking again because of the dated equipment. So this this allowed me to maintain those those accuracies required for my new parts. You know, I've had an interview before, Matt, where mm. someone quite literally took a part from a 40 taper machine and popped it onto this 30 taper robo drill, changed none of the speeds and feeds in the program and reduced cycle time by 50%. Have you seen some of how fast this machine runs and seen some of the similarities like that? Oh yeah, having having the smaller footprint machine that, that is very tight, it, it definitely will shorten everything up and, and absolutely reduce cycle. Yeah, you know? and you mentioned also, and we had done this in the Nakamura video, uh, you mentioned I'm going to continually move forward with the ability to run more parts, to run autonomously, to run through the night. And this is part of that progress as well, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I want to uh, get get these both set up with robots and uh, and get them to run lights out. And since Matt brought that up, let's take you over to the next machine where Matt himself has actually designed his own robot or cobot cell. So Matt, come join me and let's show the audience your other Fanuc Robo Drill. Oh my gosh, Matt, this setup that you've created is darn near as sexy as you are. Look at this, and you designed this yourself, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't very happy with some of the other designs that uh, I had seen from the automation companies, so I just decided to draw it up, sign it all myself. Creative, absolutely creative. And <laughs> when we're talking about shops in America, this is what the creativity brings. It's absolutely incredible. Um, the, I think the obvious statement here, Matt, is you want to do more. You want to try and limit the amount of people you need to hire. You want to make sure that your machines are running all the time. And th this is just part of that evolution, isn't it? Yeah, I wanted to keep uh, the footprint small, obviously. And I wanted to keep you know, the amount of people down. I, I have enough work um, for this type of a setup. Um, with the robo drill coming in, I was like, why not put the robot on it right away? Yeah, I agree with you. So I know that as a small shop here in Wisconsin, you're always looking to grow, you're looking to expand. Would you mind sharing with the audience just a little bit of what you're currently making, medical, aerospace, job shop type stuff, and where you're looking to expand, if you're looking to expand, and how they can reach you as well, a website, a phone number, a social security card, a personal address, anything you want to give them so they can find you. Yeah, you can, you can find us at uh, adept-mfg.com. And you can kind of see uh, all the equipment list is there. And then, of course, um, you know, like primarily I'm in medical right now. Um, I have a couple other customers that are in automation, uh, some food service type stuff. Um, but but medical is is very, very busy. So that's where I'm I'm dedicating a lot of my time. That makes sense. So for those of you who are out there right now, Matt is the man. Adept is a great company. You've seen already some robo drills and some Nakamura's. You can go to the website and learn more about the company if you want to. So if you're looking for a solid, trustworthy partner to do some of the work for you that you need outsource that either currently has uh, long lead times or maybe bad parts coming in or you don't want to offshore anymore and you're looking for something more local domestically as we're reshoring across the country, give my buddy Matt a call. You obviously see the technology. You see the smile on his face. He wants to grow the business as well. Thank you all for watching. Matt, we've already walked from one machine to the other machine to the other machine, so let's just walk off this camera too, right? Let's go. Come on.